Thank you very much, Nancy. I'm very happy to be here, and I want to thank you very much for this invitation. In fact, the invitation came very late. I received it yesterday. At the time that I had planned a lot of programs for this weekend, but when I received the invitation, I have not been here for long. So I asked one of my officers to do some little investigation for me to know what the group stands for. After coming back to tell me that it's a group who have come together to promote development and peace, I decided to cancel all my programs and attend this program. Why? Because whoever is promoting peace and development is doing police work. So if I have been brought here as a police commander to lead my men and women to do police work, and there are youth who have also come together to promote security and development, then they are my brothers and sisters. So thank you very much for this laudable idea. I have been seated here and very soon I have to try and learn Agwani because I believe if I could understand all that's going on here, I would have enjoyed this program to the fullest because the little that I've even uh, understood, I've enjoyed it very well. And I cannot attend this uh, noble program without contributing to the cause of it. So I also want to contribute a token for the development of the association. Security. It is my view that among all the things in community, security is the most important one. Why? Because we want development. We want good schools. We want hospitals. We want good roads. We want electricity. We want portable water. But if we have all these things and there is no security, we cannot enjoy them. Because when there is no peace, our children cannot go to school. When there is no peace, our wives cannot even access the hospital when they are, they are pregnant. So among all the things that we need, peace and security is the most important one. So whoever will promote peace and security is promoting a very good thing and that people need to be supported. We all need to support to make sure that criminals get out of our system. Today, we may say that the crime is not against me, but tomorrow it will be against you. Most of the crimes that we handle at our station here are not against the police officers. They are against the members of the community. So if the very community that the police is protect is trying to hide criminals, then it means that our work will be very difficult and the society will not see any peace. So let's try and help the police to get criminals out of our community so that we can live in peace. Conflict will always come. Conflict is part of us. Misunderstanding is part of human nature because even twins who will come from the same womb, sometimes they will have mis misunderstanding. So conflict is not
not a bad thing. Conflict will come. But when conflict comes, we need to resolve it without violence. And that is why we have structures. We are very respected uh, chiefs here. We have our elders, we have assemblymen. And if all these structures are not able to resolve the crime, the court is there to resolve it. And we now even have alternative dispute resolution. And it tells you that the, the nation has already admitted that there will be a conflict, there will be a dispute, and we need to resolve it. But the bad part is that in resolving our differences, it shouldn't result in violence. I'm happy we are gathered here as youth, because in most cases, these violence In most cases, this violence are perpetrated by the youth. And this noble idea of getting development, if we allow ourselves to be used for violence, then we cannot enjoy it. Our children cannot enjoy it. Our wives cannot enjoy it. Because if you allow yourself to be used for violence, at the end of the day, you may be arrested. If you try to avoid arrest, you have to run away. And in running away, you leave your children, you leave your wife, you leave your loved ones. If you are arrested, you may be convicted and go to prison. And the very community that you are living in, sometimes after returning from prison, they will discriminate against you. A job opportunity will come and they say, oh, he's ex convict he has gone to prison before, we cannot give him this job. So we have to live a decent life. Finally, I will urge you, my brothers and sisters, to find something to do. Because there is a saying that devil finds work for an ideal hand. So let's find work to do. Because if you have a job to do, the chances that devil will use you becomes very, very low. So let's try and have something to do so that devil cannot use us. We are always here and we will continue to be we will continue to be with you and uh, Mr. MC I want to be a member of this association.